Kelsey McFarland and right now in your 13 Action News update, the Bureau of Land Management is proposing fee increases for entrance to Red Rock Canyon. The, those proposed fees include reservation added fees for camping and the timed reservation system. If you'd like to make your opinion heard on how you'd like to see those dollars. Uh, sorry. Kelsey McFarland and here's a look at what's happening now. Airline workers are calling for legislation to protect their safety. Flight attendants, ticket agents and more are protesting against the rise in assaults by passengers. The Transport Workers Union handed out wristbands and postcards that read assault won't fly at Harry Reid International Airport this morning. They're hoping it'll raise awareness and educate passengers as well as fellow Kelsey McFarland and right now on your 13 Action News update, the Bureau of Land Management is proposing fee increases for entrance to Red Rock Canyon. The proposed plan includes additional reservation fees for camping and the timed reservation system and the annual pass would be $15 more. If you'd like to make your opinion heard on how you'd like to see your dollars put to work, there'll be public comment section open until July 22nd. A pedestrian is in the hospital after uh, suffering severe injuries after being hit by a car on East Tropicana and Duke Ellington Way. Metro says surveillance video shows the man running on across the street outside of a crosswalk area. They say an SUV tried slowing down to avoid hitting that person when another truck crashed into the back of the SUV, pushing it into the pedestrian. The driver of the truck was also taken to the hospital. And airline workers are calling for legislation to protect their safety. Flight attendants, ticket agents and more are protesting against the rise in assaults by passengers. The Transport Workers Union handed out wristbands and postcards that read assault won't fly at Harry Reid International Airport. Today's rally is part of a series of demonstrations across the U.S. in support of keeping them safe. Justin. Kelsey, thanks a lot. It's hot out there. Temperature is headed toward 106 this afternoon with just a smidge of humidity. We're on the lookout for some stray 
pop up storms, mainly over the mountains south of the valley, but then they'll drift up to the north and northeast. So places near Lake Mead, like Boulder City, the southeast side of the Las Vegas Valley have a, a chance, about 20% of an afternoon downpour. Looks completely dry Thursday through the 4th of July holiday weekend. Southwest breezes every afternoon, plenty of sun. Hot, but not incredibly hot. About 102 on Saturday, down to a high of 98 on the 4th, which is Monday. Thank you, Justin. That was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnv.com and our free mobile app.